Hamisato Ayato. If you play Genshin Impact and haven't been living underneath a rock, you've probably heard of him by now, or at least seen his images plastered over the internet. Trending all over social media just minutes after his image was officially released receiving hundreds of pieces of fan art only days later. He is one of the most highly anticipated characters in the game right now. In this video, I'm gonna give you my honest, unfiltered opinion of him and whether or not I think he's worth the money and hype. Okay, so let's get started. Within the Genshin community, Ayato's name already precedes him. Now we've never seen him this whole time. No one ever knew what he looked like exactly. And this is, I think, maybe not rare but early on we used to have a lot of leaks but ayato has we've never seen any image leaks of him you know what i mean people have drawn what they think he may look like what they feel he'll look like but we never actually like seen his actual image get released until like it was officially released he is the current head of the kamisato clan and serves as the yashiro commissioner now if you ask me what the yashiro commissioner does honestly i probably wouldn't even know but it's somebody in the game. I look at it almost like, what, police or maybe politics? Either way. Ayato is also the older brother of Kamisato Ayaka, one of the most popular characters in Genshin Impact history. Ayaka plays fourth in revenue made from a single character. I mean, first it was the Raiden Shogun, then Venti, then Klee, and of course Venti's rerun, and then Ayaka. So that's why I said she's fourth, because, you know, Venti, that's just because it's his rerun, that's still him. So Ayaka is fourth as far as revenue goes. Um, the incredibly beautiful and cool Ayaka is a strong cryo DPS. Um, she is just one of the many reasons fans have such high expectations of Kamisato Ayato. Um, Ayato and Ayaka will also be the second pair of playable siblings in the game. Both also the first pair of siblings where both are DPS characters and their elements complement each other. With Jean and Barbara, Jean is Animo and Barbara is Hydro. In my opinion, they don't really complement each other that well, at least with fighting. Um, also, Jean and Barbara both heal, so you would typically only bring one of them on your team versus how Kamisato siblings, you can bring both to fight as part of a freeze team. Him doing Hydro, her doing Cryo. It could it could be a really great um, freeze team depending on like, you know how strong he is. Cause Ayaka is already strong by herself. So I feel like adding him, he could either be a great support for her or just be just as strong. Um, I also feel like it'll be amazing to see them fight in the Spiral Abyss together. And if you're enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate it if you would like it. And if you want to subscribe, um, liking the video just lets YouTube know that you enjoyed it and they'll recommend it to other Genshin Impact players and fans as well. And Ayato's reputation isn't the only reason he's popular. It's his looks. I had to be completely blind and crazy to ignore one of the biggest reasons why he's so popular. Um, he is attractive. He's incredibly handsome. And you can clearly see from the mounds of fan art he has that many people agree. Only hours after his image was released to the public, the fan art came pouring in. Incredibly talented artists from all over the world shared Ayato drawn in their style, their art style. If you go on Twitter right now and type Ayato's name, you'll immediately see images of Ayato drawn in various poses and styles. In a tan suit with multiple hues of blue, Ayato shines. He has blue hair, a small beauty mark on his face. The creators definitely did a good job with him as they do with all the characters. Beautiful male character has many people, including me, ooing and aahing, without ever even hearing his voice. From attractiveness alone, he will do well. Now, for you, that may not be enough of a reason to spend your coins, and that's understandable. I'm going to tell you really soon if I think he is worth spending the coins over. It's hard to make any real judgment, but we can look at some of the leaks that have happened or came out already. So while Googling, I came across an article from GameRank.com that says Ayato will most likely be a DPS character similar to Ito and Beto. I personally hope he isn't as difficult to use as Beto. I have her C5, but I never use her because it feels too unsure and unpredictable the amount of damage she will do. It could just be faulty me and not the game or her, but in Ayato's picture, he's also holding a Hydro Sword. So hopefully we will get a lot of elemental reactions with him. And according to Game Rant, his elemental skill is named Shumatsu Art. Now, if I pronounce that wrong, I'm really sorry. 
Um, and it allows Ayato to dash sideways while casting forward an empty shell of himself that taunts enemies. Now, this sounds so interesting, and I can't wait to see what it will look like in a fight. I'm wondering if it will be like Shinha, who just came out, where, you know, we see her, I don't know, spear herself. I don't even know what you would call that, but, like, it seems like a almost ghost form of her. I never, I didn't win her character, so I really don't know how it works, but um, I can't wait to see what Ayato looks like. Um, maybe it'll be like amber but not like on amber's level or maybe amber or even um shangling how they throw out goba you know what i mean to kind of distract the enemies and taunt them a little bit i'm very excited to see if ayato will do real damage now when i say real damage i mean like there's like ito does damage right Deluk does damage um kachin does damage and then there are people like hu tao ganyu yula who do crazy amounts of damage you know what i mean they're they're known for that they're super popular for that um so i don't know if ayato would uh, will be on their level but you know he doesn't have to be of course he could be on the same level as ayato or deluke or any of those other characters i named and still be an amazing you know dps but i think it's just interesting to see whether or not he will be on the same level as ganyu or yula hutao but with them saying that he's similar to beto and ito it makes me kind of think that he probably won't be on their level at least which i get it we shouldn't probably have too many characters who are colossal levels so and now in this whole video you know i've discussed like ayato's reputation his beauty um possible leaks but now I'm finally going to give you my honest opinion on whether or not I feel like he's worth the money and the hype. Realistically, it's way too early to tell. Point blank period, it's just way too early to tell whether or not, you know, he's worth it, right? But that won't stop me from giving my humble opinion. And in my opinion, Ayato is worth the money and hype. Okay, one, his storyline is intriguing. Um, we haven't seen this man this whole time. We fought the riding Shogun and everything else. This man's been um, MIA, right? He's also the brother to Ayaka. I want to see, like, his storyline seems intriguing by itself, okay? Two, a very beautiful character. Um, most, I don't, I, there's not an ugly character in the game, but you know what I mean? He's a very beautiful character. Um, and three, he's a Hydro DPS, whose sister is a Cryo DPS, Right? Imagine the lucky people who will have both Kamisato siblings. Like, that literally, like, I already feel jealous because I missed out on Ayaka. But imagine her and her brother fighting together side by side. I don't feel like we see a lot of people fighting with Barbara and Jean. And so to see these siblings or whatever, like, you know, I think it's going to be super cute for the game. And the lucky people who get both, I know they're going to have a ton of fun. And a lot of people will be jealous. If you buy for strength alone... I would say wait to see how much damage he can do, right? So currently we don't have anything else. All we have is kind of like an image, a little bit of backstory, but we don't really know how much damage he can actually do. So if you do buy for strength reasons, you know, I would say just to wait. Um, well, I mean, obviously you have no choice but to wait, you know what I mean? But I would say like, you're gonna have to see how much damage he can do and then make that choice then. Everybody who wants him already, save your money now, save your wishes, and then go for it. Um, if you buy for strength alone, maybe you want to buy um, new characters that'll come up. Um, I know Yamiko, um, but I know they'll do some reruns of other characters as well. So I would say, you know, if you buy for strength, then buy for characters maybe that you already know are going to do the amount of damage that you want. And then maybe you can try to wish later on for Ayato. Um, but for all the people like me who strictly buy based off storyline and character like ability, I would say start saving your wishes. I know I am. Um, I won the last 50 50 with Ganyu. I won her, and right? I lost the 50 50, so I know the next one will be guaranteed. So for me, I'm saving all of my wishes. I'm probably going to skip out on Yamiko's banner just because I won Ayato. But Yamiko also seems pretty cool as well, so we'll kind of see how that goes. I missed out on Ayaka, but I don't think I want to miss out on Ayato. And Ayaka, I voted, like, I wished for her and everything, but I literally just never won her. So, I've seen people play with her, and she has, like, a really good play style. To me, she seems like an incredible cryo DPS. But yeah, those are my honest thoughts and opinions on Ayato. 
Um, comment down below whether or not you feel like Ayato will be a super strong character or just, you know, a regular DPS character. Um, comment down below if you feel like just from what we've seen right now, early opinion, if you feel like he's worth it. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, it would mean a lot to me if you could like the video. Just so YouTube knows that people are enjoying this content that I'm creating and that people want to see more of it. Thank you and have a great day.